Hey everybody, it's Thikervix. In the last episode, we beat up a guy who was concerned about his own weight, and in this episode, we move on to a level that I horribly misunderstood as a child. Level 1-5, Hop Hop Donut Lifts. Now, first of all, I'm a fairly tech-savvy person when it comes to computers and all that stuff. I can understand how to work one. I'm, I'm in uh, computer scientists. I'm in a computer science program at university. But uh, I clearly didn't understand games or just computer so or computers in general when I was younger. Um, as to, as to, as up to this point, I believe the, this entire game has not been auto scrolling. However, this level introduced auto scrolling, which is a really cool concept in games. I think. Uh, however, it does drive me mad sometimes when I miss a friggin' red coin or something in this game. This is gonna, that's gonna happen a lot. And we're gonna have to go through the entire level all again, and then you, you know you know the drill. Anyways. So, I never understood why this level, and I was a kid, I never understood why this level wouldn't move when I moved. I didn't understand why it moved kind of at its own pace. Clearly, you can see I wasn't the most understanding kid of technology, or of games, I guess. But maybe it's more games than technology, if anything. Anyway, so I couldn't understand for the life of me why this game wasn't scrolling correctly. So, anyways, that, that aside... There was one other thing that I didn't understand about the- or there was one thing that, uh... Not that I didn't understand as a kid, it's just that I just called it the wrong thing this entire time. Um, these things down here, these things that, uh, that can fall if you stand on them too long, I used to call them Cheerios. I don't know why, I really liked Cheerios as a kid, and they I guess they kind of look like Cheerios? I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, but, uh, I think they're called Giant's Teeth? If memory serves, I think they're called Giant's Teeth. Um, if I'm wrong, oh no, don't, I'm not dead yet, ah, ah, ah. okay, we're good. <laughs> um, if I'm wrong about those being called giant's teeth, future Jacob is gonna, uh, is gonna let you guys know. Oh no, I missed a lot of stars. Oh well, there are more stars later in this level that I can get, so it doesn't really matter if I miss a few stars here and there. Really, the main goal is just to have five stars by right here, and then we're good. And I don't think there are any more stars after this, so I don't think I can, uh... I don't think I can take damage after this. If if I do ha end up taking damage after this, I do have some precautionary measures. So, that's at least kind of nice. It's always sketchy having to throw eggs on these platforms, or at least I always find it sketchy, because I always, I'm always concerned that they're gonna fall out under me before I'm done throwing the egg. And here's the exit already. That was a really quick level. Not as hard as I used to think it was. I always used to fall under the, uh, under the spinners. Oh, hey, we even got a bonus challenge. Sweet. Maybe this is the one I'm thinking of? I'll let you guys know if this is the one I'm thinking of. Anyways. Perfect. And we should get five lives for this. I believe it goes up in increments of, uh, one, three, and five. Once you get 100 points, you get one up. Once you get 300 points, you get, uh, three up. And once you get five points, you get five up. Oh, it's a flip card. Sweet. I love- this is probably my favorite minigame. I might be wrong about that, but I think this is my favorite one. Ten stars? That's like- that's really awesome, actually. Oh, we got Kamek. Alright, and we lost everything. No big deal. I already do have a, uh, a plus ten stars, so... whatever. Alright, let's move on to World 1-6. Shy Guys on Stilts? Is that what it's called? Shy Guys on Stilts. Oh! I remember from my practice run I had a little while ago. All right, this all this actually these two levels are pretty easy. I must admit, although this level actually introduces a cool um, a cool new egg, a cool new concept. So you guys remember how we had uh, yellow eggs, which turned enemies into coins when we hit them. And um, okay, I was trying to be cool and show off the red egg. Um, and we hit the red egg, which turned enemies into stars when we hit them, which we might actually need in this level, because I just lost a bunch of stars. Um, however, now we have the seizure egg, which is, if I can find it, right there. If you- this egg is extremely important. If you actually hit an enemy with this egg- Oh, now I gotta go through all my rotation again. Um, if you actually hit an enemy with this egg, and it's extremely important that you do, they turn into a red coin. You can completely screw that up and have to do the entire stage over again if you miss that egg. So be on the lookout for those eggs. You can't you can't actually make them yourself. You have to find them hidden within the level. So yeah, if you happen to miss one, it's just like missing a red coin, unfortunately. So yeah. Um, and there's something I just did there that I've never that I never really explained to you guys before. 
Um, and that is, I'll show you, I'll show you, there's more opportunities to do it in the later, later on in the level. But basically what the premise of it is, uh, is if you can bounce off of, god dang it. If you can bounce off of an enemy, um, and then flutter kick with Yoshi, then you get way more height than if you were to just regularly flutter kick, um, in the air with Yoshi. I'll show you guys. So, like, here's my normal flutter kick. Goes up to there. And then if this guy would come back down here, uh, I can actually show it here. You guys will see the effect. So if I bounce off him, I can flutter kick way higher. It even gives me really, like, my, my height actually increases after I flutter kick off an enemy. So that's probably something I'll also use uh, a lot during the series, actually. Alright, we're back up to surface now, and it's really important that you can be careful here because you can miss three red coins. That was that was close. I In my practice run of this game, I actually missed... Um, ah, I actually missed one of those uh, red coins, and I learned that you could... Um, if you miss one of those red coins, you can actually uh, grab a stilt shy guy. Um, and then that'll catapult you up high enough um, for you to actually get those red coin, uh, the last red coin up there, or any of them actually. Um, also, if you tongue these guys, they move further along. It's a, it's kind of interesting, and I I usually use it. It's important. Um, and here is an extremely uh, kind of not frustrating, but like. Um, mean part of this game. This part, this game isn't really mean. This game is actually usually pretty nice, but this is kind of mean. So you hit this, and you get a little power up, and you're like, oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna use this power up. Um, so this is a mole digger power up. So we can actually dig through all this uh, little little blue stuff. So we can just go like this, and we can dig through it. And the controls are really awkward. And I'm trying to get a red coin. Although I'm not sure if that's going to work, so I'm just going to get it after. So, the, the reason I'm getting Yoshi now and not just waiting until later is because um, if you actually fail this section, you don't get that mole again. You only actually get to use that mole once. So, let me see if I can... Um, there's a red coin up here, and I didn't even get it. Wow. That kind of sucks. Hmm. I'm in a bit of a pickle. Um... Excuse me. Uh, let's see if I can get up here. Okay, so I made some progress. I managed to get that red coin, but I'm not sure what other there is. There is one more red coin that you can get here, and it is um, it's right up here. Like it's it's like see where that little break is. It's right there where my tongue is, and I just can't get it because I don't have a uh, another egg. I could probably. No, that makes the egg much further away from me. Alright, cool. Um, I'm gonna just go grab that off screen and I'll show you guys. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. So let's go figure out. Let's go figure out where those other where that other red coin was. So, we found the one uh, near the exit, so here's our other one, and then we've also got this one near the exit, right here. Yep. And now we can go down, Ugh, I hate these controls so much, and then we can go down and hit that, and now we're safe, and those are the only two red coins in here. Okay, finally after getting that egg, we're back here, or sorry, finally after getting that coin, we're back here. So we're ready to continue on with the levels. Here's a really easy uh, flower. And that text box back there actually tells us about ground pounding, as if we haven't been using ground pounding this entire time. Um, the really jerk thing about those little uh, poles there is that not always, and not very often either, um, but sometimes they have red coins in them, as you saw in the first level. And if they do, and you miss them, then you're just totally screwed. So that's a bit of an issue. That was actually a really good uh, toss there. Um, and what's my... Oh, I have 27 stars. Give me a minute, I'm gonna get some stars. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show this on screen because I don't think I've showed you guys this yet. If you're low on stars, you can actually bounce the stars off the wall here and grab the red um, eggs that appear. 
And this is a really easy way of getting stars. Now all I gotta do is actually hit an enemy um, with any of these red eggs. So if we go down here... Actually, we can hit this as well and get uh, some stars. And then there should be some bats up here. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, alright. Uh, where's another bat? Hello. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let's go back here and let's grab these. Yep, there's one. There's two. Alright, now let's not get hit again. Let's be very careful to not get hit again. Oh, oh. I forgot there was some stars right here. Oops. <laughs> alright, and we finished the level. We get a bonus game. We do! We do get another bonus challenge. I'm missing two coins. I'll be right back after I do this bonus challenge. Uh, okay, so this one uh, is basically you, so you scratch off this thing. And depending on, you get three scratches rather, and the amount of uh, baby Mario's that you get depends on how many, li or determines how many lives you get. So, so far I have one life, and if I get uh, one more, I'll get two lives. But I don't, so I'm gonna get one life. Cool. I actually really like that effect as well, with the whole scratching off with the coin. There's a bunch of different random effects that you can get. It's really neat. So I'm gonna meet you guys back when I've figured out where the last two uh, red coins are. Hey everybody, Future Jake here. Um, so I'm just gonna clear up the confusion about the last two red coins. So first of all, I was only actually missing one red coin. The other red coin was the one that I didn't get um, in the mole section of the of the episode that I actually already showed you guys. So the other uh, coin that we're missing is actually right here. Uh, I missed it. Uh, actually, there were two coins I skipped. The one above it, and then this one. Um, yeah, so I just skipped those for some reason whenever I was finishing the level off, so that's the other red coin that we missed. Uh, now we're going to continue with the video. Okay, now that we figured out the mystery of the last two red, uh, red coins, we can move on. Okay, back to 100. Um, my recording is pretty, uh, isn't really long right now, so I figure we could probably fit one more level in here. And this level is like the bane of all Yoshi's Island players ever. If you've played Yoshi's Island, you know what level this is. Let's get into it. Level 17, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. This level is really interesting. Um, so let's go through this. First I have these weird little ball guys. I'm not quite sure what they are. You can kick them, you can kick them around and they mess with your physics and they're all weird. Um, and then I think what you can actually do, never mind if I could actually do it, you can hit them and I'm gonna hit it into that ball. What's this? Some more stars? Yeah, sweet. So these guys are kind of useful. These guys, um, you actually can't hit with your... Oh, actually, you can't kill them with your egg directly, but if you knock them into their friends, they can be killed. And with your tongue, you can just kind of push them around like you could with the, with the Shy Guys on stilts. Ooh, what's up here? Uh... Ah! There we go. Die. I'm gonna grab my egg here. Or, not my egg, sorry, my melon. And this melon is really awesome because it can actually kill these guys, it can knock them off and push them into little pits. Uh, but more importantly, it can knock through stuff like eggs can, and it's super useful. I actually have an- I actually have a, uh, uh, one of these in my inventory. Uh, if I can show you guys, I got 
yeah, a little melon in there. Uh, and you can use that anytime, and then just, uh, and get a melon, and just shoot like a machine gun. Machine gun melons. Let's get this. Now, I gotta be really careful that I don't randomly shoot my, uh, colorful eggs. So I'm actually going to shoot them on one of these shy guys. Grab that red coin, and I'm gonna do it again here. Sweet. Okay, I've got, I've got, I've done my, I've done my red coin farming for this, uh, for this level. And now I can rest easily. Alright, now we have yet, now we're actually getting into the part that makes this level super infamous. Um, I'm gonna kill this guy just before, oh, never mind. Never mind, I went back on my promise there. Oh, this is why this level is super weird. Because the, the physics and the, all the geometry change, it's all weird and it's super hard to control. Ah! Okay, yep, we're gonna get some eggs here so we can try to not get super screwed by these fuzzies. You can see, you can actually uh, shoot the fuzzies and it makes them not make you go crazy. And we're safe again. Oof. My god, that was scary. The fuzzy is kind of like home to you, which is super creepy. And as a kid, I always thought those things were little eyes. And they might be, I just don't know. I, I'm i just gonna kind of assume that they're not eyes because that's... Oh, I forgot you can't eat them either. That's a big problem. Oh my god, look at how far I'm moving. I'm hardly even touching the control stick. Yikes. I gotta get this flower. Yep, that was all the flowers in the level. Let's try to go over here. Oh, we're safe again. Oh, we got a 1-up. Sweet. Uh, let's grab one of these guys. And I hope these are stars. These are stars. Sweet. Let's keep on heading into the level. Uh, what's over here? These are kind of cool, too, because they kind of like bend in as you walk over them. I think it's really neat. Uh, and I believe you can just go like that, and they can fall down. Yeah. My memory served me correctly sometimes. Sometimes it does that. It doesn't always do that, though. Uh, and then these should be the last two red coins. Or that should be the last one red coin. I hope I got all the red coins. I didn't hear the jingle. I'm gonna be very concerned if I don't have all the red coins. I thought I got all of them. Let's see. What? I missed four red coins? Alright, well, I guess I'll meet you guys back at the location of the four other red coins I missed. Jeez. Almost 700. I found... Ooh, look what I found. I found a little cloud with a key. I wonder if this is where the last four red coins are. Let's look in here. Let's see. Sometimes these have new areas, sometimes they just have mini-games. Never mind, we just have mini-games. Alright, I'll meet you guys back when we actually have- uh, you know what? We'll play this mini-game first, and then we can figure out, uh, where the last red coin- where the last few red coins are. Thank you for the little boost there, guy. That was extremely useful. Uh... Wow, I'm so high up in the sky right now, holy cow. Uh, if you actually bounce on his head- Oh, and he can bounce on your head as well, but if you bounce on his head, he'll- he'll sit down for a bit. Uh, allowing you to get, uh, a lot more red coins. Am I gonna sweep him? I'm gonna sweep him, I think. Oh, yeah, I sweeped him by a long shot. Ooh, and we got a full eggs card. That'll just make our eggs be, uh, max. Okay, for real this time, I'm gonna get you guys back when I have the other four red coins. Ah, I think I've just found the last four of our red coins. So on this log, I just jumped and hit something on the top of my head, and this fell down. So let's sweep up. Let's bounce up here. What do we got up here? We got a thump rock that we can kind of move if we stand in the right place. Okay. Let's. What does this accomplish? I'm curious. I'm curious. What do you accomplish? Oh, I see what you do. We got. Ooh, okay, cool. Let's check down here as well. Okay, we just got a path out. And these guys, these guys are, these guys are weird. They shoot off the things when they get full. And they're also a good source of, um, they're also a good source of, uh, what's it called, eggs. So let's go up here and see what's, uh, see what's up here. We got 
One, two, three, and four. Sweet. And that should be the last, and these should be stars, and we're good to go. All right. Well, finally, we've completed this level. It was really weird. I I guess I didn't uh, just check that. I guess I should check things that are conspicuous like that a little bit more often. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for our level. And then, last these two. All right, and I heard the jiggle this time, so we're probably good to go. All right, we didn't get a bonus game, but that's okay. I was hoping, but that's fine. And this time we actually got 100%. Awesome. And that will be our last level before our boss. Oh, bon oh, I forgot when you get a lot of points, you get the bonuses. Right. Right, right, right. Yep. And this bonus opens. So the bonuses are essentially just harder versions of the levels, and I'm actually going to be going over all the bonus levels after we finish all the worlds. Uh, so they're going to be kind of like an extra part to this series. So, in the next episode, we're going to fight this weird-looking thing here. But until then, I hope you guys are having a great day. Peace off.